Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. We got mail. Santee, how about one on lawyers in the Old West? Razorback Piper Guy 2898. Lawyers in the Old West. <laughs> Let's check it out. How many men have you shot since you became a marshal, Mr. Cogburn? I never shot nobody. I didn't have to. That was not the question. How many? Uh, shot or killed. Oh, let's restrict it to kill so we may have a manageable figure. The Wild West was called that not just because of the rough, unsettled frontier, but also because of lawlessness. Opportunists were preying on pioneers and outlawry was definitely a problem. Territories were short on lawmen, but when rapscallions were caught, they had to be brought to justice. Enter the lawyer, who would either prosecute or defend depending on the job at hand. Litigators weren't rare. In the 1870s, Dodge City had 37 practicing lawyers. Tombstone, with a population of just under 5,000 in 1881, had at least that many. It surprised me to find out that there weren't many law schools until late in the period. Curious, I snooped around and found that Austin College in Texas had formal law studies for a whole year in 1855. Well, they only had four students. Not only did not go to Harvard Law School, you haven't even gone to any law school. Many lawyers learned from books or by studying under established counselors. Apparently, territorial laws accepted that as reasonable schooling for the 19th century. Books such as Edward Koch's Institute of the Laws of England and William Blackstone's Commentaries on the Laws of England were essential tools for budding lawyers. In 1878, the American Bar Association forms on the East Coast to help standardize the job of lawyers and their role in the justice system. Even then, it wasn't until 1906 that three years of study in an institution was required. You better start packing a handgun. We see a good example of frontier lawyers in the movie The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. James Stewart played Ransom Stoddard, a self-taught man dead set on bringing law to the Wild West. Well, I'm a lawyer. Ransom Stoddard, attorney at law. The fictional character he portrayed was instrumental to not only the judicial system of the territory, but also its politics. There were five times as many civil cases as criminal cases back then. Because of so many issues about property rights, some of this fell under what was called public nuisance. If industry was infringing on your water or land, then you would hire a lawyer and go to court. Like today, lawyers didn't have to choose a specialty back then. You could be a trial lawyer or not a trial lawyer, depending on your desires. They offended the law. No. Yes. There were some famous Old Westians who were unlikely lawyers. Temple Houston, son of Sam Houston, strapped on a Colt revolver he called Old Betsy, and wore buckskin clothing and a Mexican sombrero. I'm the cat's meow, my wardrobe is wild. Famous gunfighter John Wesley Hardin studied law while in prison and practiced when he got released. New Mexico law dog El Fago Baca was admitted to the bar in 1895. With a star on his chest, he was law in the West. Nine lives at El Fago Baca. Women were also in the profession back then. Clara Foltz was the first woman admitted to the California bar, which made her the first female lawyer on the west coast of America. One of her contemporaries was Laura Gordon, a criminal lawyer who was admitted to practice before the U.S. Supreme Court in 1885. To be a lawyer in a land where law was somewhat scarce is a huge responsibility. One had to possess not only the smarts, but also the nerve. Ladies and gentlemen of the... Of, 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 of the j -j -j <clears throat> jury. In the future, we'll do a dressing the part for the lawyer, as well as a look inside their 19th century office. Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. Hey, we're shooting a little commercial here today. It's been really fun. We're going to see that in the future. 
As always, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail. Hey, can I have his gun? Wow, that's nice. Thank you.